it's time to send in the chopper guys you know what scratch that forget all that noise it's time to send in that a10 warthog what is good all my gamers out there it's that x murdering beast that am beast there tell you guys are watching some of that kill confirm on carrier now i am using the type 25 with the quick draw handle and the suppressor and my perks are heartline toughness and tactical mass now let me tell you guys if you're not using an smg in this game then you're not doing things right but you have to go so hard out your way to use the assault rifle it's not even funny on this damn game now i think it has a lot to do with the connection and with the smgs being powerful i won't say that they're overpowered by any means but they're just a powerful category of weapons this time around the call of duty series well and with the connection not being as great as it can well, let's face it we know that the connection sucks and just in case if you do not know what i'm talking about for instance, say you shoot at a guy a couple of times and he drops you. You watch the kill cam, it shows you just standing there like a damn idiot, like, hi, come here and shoot me. You know, you just sit in there, stand in there with your thumb up your ass. Then it shows him, like, not take no damage at all, like I said, if you never shot him. So, no, it does have connection issues. So, I think with the SMGs being powerful and the connection issues, it just kind of makes it a superior, you know, a superior race right now. Like, the gun is like a superior freaking race of guns. But, this, this, this assault rifle is not too bad. Like the Type 25 is definitely one of those good assault rifles. I do write the suppressor on it because I think you need any benefit that you honestly can get with the assault rifles if you're going to use them because most players will use SMGs against you. So suppressor, of course, does keep you off the map. And it works really well with the Type 25 because the Type 25 does have a high fire rate. So you can put, people, um, put bullets in people, I should say, pretty fast. So you can bullet holes them. And the suppressor is not going to do too much to harm this weapon, guys. So, if you try to use a Type 25, I definitely would use the suppressor on it. I think it does work well. At least in my playthroughs, it's worked well. And quick draw handle does not hurt either. Now, as you can tell from the title, guys, this is um, this is uh, one of the first games, I should say, where I actually earned a warthog now i'm not gonna say it's my very very first game but one of the first few and let me tell you guys the a10 is pretty damn epic now beforehand i never really tried to go for these higher type score streaks i was just satisfied going for the lower ones because i was having a hard time even more earning those at one time due to the freaking uh, connection that this game offers but guys the a10 is simply beautiful this the sound that it makes when it's doing the strafing run like it sounds epic guys and then you can how you, i don't know i mean i'm on this freaking support actions d right now but the a10 is pretty damn epic guys let me tell you and the fact that it does it makes multiple strafing runs it's also a good thing like i thought it was going to be one of those things where it just makes one strafing run and then it just goes on with its day but no this thing makes a few i believe it makes three to four but I could be mistaken about that. I'm not really sure exactly how many strafing runs it makes. But it can get you some kills. Now, let me just put it that way. Now, it won't get you as much kills as, say, the Swarm and a K9 unit. Look at these two assholes capping. I surprised my knife even worked on that one, guys. Probably because he was just standing around being a jackass. But, you know, knives they don't work on Black Ops. Come on, man. Knives are unheard of. <laughs> but anyways, like... The A10 won't give you as many kills as, you know, like I said, the Swarm and the K9 unit. But when you're playing on maps like this, like Carrier, where it's all open and stuff, and there's not too many buildings to high end, it can get you a lot of freaking kills, guys. The A10 can definitely put in some work. It really just depends on the situation and the map. Like, really, when you use the A10, guys, just be aware of what map you're using it on. Like, if it's a map that has a lot of buildings, then you might, probably don't even want to use the A10. You know, switch it for something else like the K9 unit or something. But, of course, like, if you got maps like this, the A10 works just fine. It's kind of surprising to me how the A10 on this game is a whole lot more effective than it is on Metal Honor Warfighter. You would think, of all games, Warfighter would get that support action right, but they did it. Now, before somebody jumps a gun and say I'm picking fun at Warfighter, that's not exactly the case. Because I'm always, you know, picking flaws at Black Ops 2 as well. But the third tier support actions on Warfighter aren't that great. Now, I have gotten a lot of kills with the A10, like a, like a five-man kill feed and stuff on some of my videos. But it's... It's really not that great. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Not as great as this one is. Like This does the A10 justice in this game. And I don't know what it is about the A10, but 
It's always one of those scores streaks that actually, like, when I see it flying, just raping people's buttholes, it's just, it's a beautiful sight. Damn, I might want to get myself checked into a doctor if I think that's any type of beautiful at all. And there must be something wrong there. Great face. But anyways, guys, a quick tip for players that aren't staying consistent with their score streaks. Play objective game modes, guys. I had to point this out because it really did help me big time. I used to play TDM a lot, and I just was not earning many score streaks at all. But when you play objective game modes, you definitely do reap more of the rewards. So remember, guys, play objective game modes. Do it. But anyway, guys, this game is about to wrap up. The ending score is a 51 and 10. I did get a little bit more depth than I wanted to, but it's still a good game. I don't. If I don't say so myself. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do leave a thumbs up. It always does help. If you're a new viewer, do subscribe for some more A and B dopeness. Laters.